Hello, uh, today I'll show how I'm running um, QN and uh, Mistral models on my uh, Mac Mini machine locally uh, using uh, MLX uh, uh, VLM library and using uh, MLX uh, uh, plat uh, platform because MLX VLM uh, it's like a wrapper uh, for MLX that uh, uh, allows to run uh, vision model uh, requests uh, and uh, process images and uh, uh, extract information information from the images. So let's see. This is my this is the remote desktop to uh, Mac Mini machine. Let's go uh, full screen and uh, this is the sample script. Uh, very simple script which uh, helps to uh, easily explain uh, how interaction uh, with uh, vision models happens on Mac OS, Mac OS with uh, MLX uh, framework from Apple. This is open source framework uh, that helps to run uh, LMs natively on uh, uh, on uh, Apple Silicon machines and on Mac OS. So I'm using ML MLX VLM as a wrapper right? and uh, for MLX because out of the box MLX itself is not uh, it doesn't provide uh, functionality to run vision models, but uh, MLX VLM comes with the functionality that enables uh, vision model functionality on top of MLX. Okay, so we import uh, the packages like uh, load image, apply chat to play it and generate, and then first step we load model, processor, config, then we load sample image here. And in case, uh, in, in the first test, we'll run uh, QN2 vision language model, uh, seven, 7 billion uh, parameters and with 8 bit quantization. And uh, for the message, uh, uh, I noticed for QN model to provide uh, uh, better structured JSON output, it's important to say in system prompt that you're an expert is extracting text from images and format response in JSON. And then uh, in the second message we provide actual actual prompt that we want to retrieve instrument name and valuation uh, from, from the document. Then we apply chat template and then we generate uh, a request uh, to, to this vision uh, LM model Q12. Uh, which runs uh, on MLX uh, framework with MLX wrapper. So let's execute this request and see uh, what we get. Also, we can open the image itself here. So uh, let's check. We extract instrument name and valuation, two fields. Okay, so instrument name is this description field and valuation is this one. So uh, in the first test we were running uh, Q12, uh, 7 billion model with 8-bit quantization. You can see data is retrieved, valuation is correct. For example, you can see uh, for the fourth row we can see 32,774 is correct, but instrument names are uh, not retrieved correctly because instrument name uh, goes on two lines in this case and uh, <coughs> model is able to fetch only the data from the first line. So this is the uh, Q12.5 uh, 7 billion uh, parameter model. I think in previously I mentioned that it's, it's Q12 model but it's actually Q12.5 and uh, 7 billion parameters and 8-bit continuation. So, so you can see that this particular model, uh, it's not working when <coughs> with this relatively simple table when we have uh, description on the multiple lines. Uh, 72 billion parameter model uh, with 4-bit quantization working fine. Uh, for <coughs> Q12.5, I mean, and it's able to read data from multiple lines in this example. Okay, now we can test uh, Another one which uh, provides better performance, uh, it's Mistral Small, 22, 24 billion per meter model uh, with 8-bit quantization and it runs fine on uh, Mac Mini machine M4, 64 gigabytes uh, uh, Pro machine. Okay, but 
to run Mistral, uh, the, the code needs to be slightly changed uh, because <coughs> maybe there's some uh, either issue related to the model itself or maybe it's uh, a Malix uh, VLM wrapper issue, but uh, when we want to execute inference with Mistral, uh, MLX VLM throws the error when we pass the array of messages. It works fine when we pass the single message. So yeah, with Mistral we don't pass um, system prompt, we just pass the actual query to fetch the data, uh, like instrument name valuation, and it works just fine. So we comment out the method where we pass the array and we execute now the method where a single message will be passed. Okay, and we execute it, <coughs> and we can see that uh, under generate uh, method from it comes from from MLX VLM package. We pass like a model that we are currently want to execute. We pass processor, and those are uh, loaded from uh, from the model itself, the, which is fetched from the Hugging Face repository like uh, from the Hugging Face repository from MLX community. Then we pass a prompt, which is uh, constructed using a helper method from uh, MLX VLM library, method name, applied chart template. Then we pass the image, and uh, we pass the tokens, temperature, and they're both false, because we don't want to see the bug information printed out. Okay, and uh, actually, uh, with MLX VLM, it's generic uh, package, and uh, if in some cases you want just to execute like a text input without image, then you simply can ignore and uh, don't pass image and uh, yeah, basically don't pass image here, and uh, it should work well, and uh, uh, then you'll get a response based on your text prompt, you'll get the answer without the image, so it works MLX VLM works with both with image input and with non-image with the text input al also. Now we got back the result, and now in this case with Mistral we can see description names are correctly retrieved from multiple lines. Uh, so we can see all the data is correct, valuation is correct as well, and for the first line is also correct. Yeah, so this is. Uh, the video which demonstrates how I'm using uh, vision models uh, on uh, MLX uh, on uh, Apple platform uh, with uh, Mac Mini M4 machine, uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. And this uh, helps me to prototype and uh, test uh, the models locally, and also I deployed uh, my solution for the data extraction Sparrow online on the same Mac Mini machine. It's accessible through sparrow.katanaml.io. I'll put a link below the video. You can access it and you can test with your own documents and see how Sparrow performs. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.